doing? Welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. It's been a long time since I've done this. Holy no! And with webcam as well. I found I'd work this out. And I think I can give it a go. So, today, which is the 15th of November, though it's not 15th of November when this went up, uh, this got released. Final Fantasy 15 Comrades. So, if I'm right, we go to the thing that says special and just up the special, I guess. Wait a minute. It's, it's, it's not special? Just say it's it's not special. I have it. I have it downloaded. I know I had. I know I do. I know I do. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Hmm. Downloadable content. Let's have a look. Aha! They got me. I thought it was special. But here we go. This is the Final Fantasy 15 multiplayer expansion, comrades. Now obviously, I've already played episode Gladio, I haven't played episode Prompto yet, which I'm very sad to say. But let's do the multiplayer expansion, comrades. And just one moment, actually. Hmm. It doesn't seem very loud on my headphones, actually. I'm going to just turn up a little bit. That's a little bit better. Right. So, I've never played this before. This is my first play. Let's do it. Boom. BAM! There we go. We're gonna play it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm excited and I'm nervous because I haven't done a video for my YouTube channel for a long time. Anyway, what's this? Comrades uses an autosave feature to save your progress. You can create and save up to eight individual avatars in your file. Your progress, inventory and photo album will be shared across all avatars. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Um, I do have to apologise in advance as well because I do sound a little bit like crap. I've had, yeah, I've had a bit of a cold for, I always seem to get a cold when I do these videos. It's just, it's just painful. But I've had a cold for nearly a week now. I'm getting there. <clears throat> I have water. <clears throat> just to make sure my voice is clear enough. So one day I'll look back on this and I will laugh. But you can laugh at me as well. Now when you're watching this. Anyway, let's close that. We're gonna retrieve data from the PlayStation Network, apparently, but look at this. So if I'm not mistaken, Comrades takes place between, spoilers by the way, uh, between Noctis disappearing and coming back when the world goes to crap. So let's have a look at our options first. Let's just make sure everything is correct here. Yep, subtitles are on, names are on. Brightness seems fine. Controls. I think the controls should be the same as what we used to. So, yeah, watch, strike, defend, attack, sprint. Yeah, everything's fine. Camera. Let's have a look at the camera. Yeah. Mini map. Yep. Vibration. I'm going to turn the vibration off. Don't get any funny jokes here. Uh, display area. Right, that's fine. HUD. I don't know what that does actually. I forgot. Anyway, I forgot. I have forgotten. Uh, wait, what else I forgot? Oh, whatever. Anyway, let's begin. Because all you're gonna do is hear me ramble all day. Anyway, your online ID and avatar name will be visible to other players when scanning comrades are communicating via fast chat or voice chat. If other players choose to share or stream their gameplay, your online OD... OD? Yes, because I'm gonna OD on this game. Your online ID and avatar name will be also visible via the old services. Okay, it'll be on the upper left. However, I've chosen to put my webcam there, so you will not see it, but I will tell you what server I'm on anyway. I don't know if I'm gonna use this one to do videos and uh, stream or more stream as such. This is kind of just like a personal avatar, so it's a good thing I've got like eight avatars to choose from because I'm gonna stream through another one. This is probably just gonna be one with friends. Anyway, uh, your server name and online outcome will disappear when you go offline to reconnect to the title screen and we'll select begin. Right. Okay. Wow. I am excited. I'm nervous. Like, I'm excited because I've, ever since I started playing Final Fantasy XV, which I've, I'm actually doing a new game plus playthrough at the moment, which is good. 
so I'm kind of familiar with the controls. Since playing it, I've always wanted like a multiplayer. This is the kind of game that I felt would be great for a multiplayer because a lot of people were so into the game. I mean, personally, I think it was a surprise hit when it came out because it had been in, what, 10 years of development hell, was it? It was like Final Fantasy Versus 13 and then they decided to call it 15. I'm thinking, why didn't they just call it 15 in the first place? But then again, I think they wanted it to be kind of part of a Final Fantasy 13 lore, maybe? I don't know. But anyway... Let's have a look at this, read this. Half years passed since Noxus and his royal retinue set sail for the western continent. News of Nifheim's demise flooded the airways and no word has been heard from the crown prince. With no light to guide them, refugees from the crown city and other parts of Lucis now gather in the Stalin, hoping to move forward as one. Yes, so half a year, right. So it's been half a year since the set sail for Altitia, I believe. Okay, oh, that's good. So you're just going to need this water. It does hurt to talk, but it's a good thing. I want to talk. I really want to enjoy this game. I'm going to stream this game, by the way. Um, probably put it in the description. Hear me, defenders anyway, of the crown. Let's watch. The power of kings goes with you, and with power comes a duty to your kingdom. Of course. Serious business here. Eh? Serious business. Your body is a vessel for the blessings My of the body? stone of Lucis. Sorry. Your blade, a ray of hope, cleaving a path for the future king. But let it be known, your transgressions have not been forgotten. Once the true king awakens, and the light is restored to this world, only then shall you be forgiven and set free from the burdens you bear. Ooh, sounds very ominous, doesn't it? Rise and shine. Oh. Limitus! <laughs> Whoa, dude! You're probably wondering what you're doing here. I'm probably wondering what you're doing here. Limitus. Ah, oh, I met the guy's voice actor and uh, his motion cap. Yeah, you did the motion capture and the voice acting. Holy crap. Liam... Come on, Liam Mulvey, I think he's called. I was not expecting to see him there. I quite liked him actually in the film. I thought he was badass. Anyway, your memories are hazy, but you remember that you are a surviving member of the Kingsglaive, the late Lucian Monarch's special task force. Ooh, here we go. So, gonna be a female for this one. I usually go for female, duh. But let's do it. So we actually get to create our own character, which is gonna be interesting. Okay, face. Your features will be generated based on your ancestor's face. Okay. Uh, do you know, I'm not actually... Hold on. Huh. I kind of like the face. I'm actually not going to mind about this face. Um, I, th I think. Hold on. Let's have a look. Let's see what that does. I like that face. Yeah, let's go for that face. Like, hair. What kind of hell? Oh god, this is where we're gonna really get into it now. Wait, can we move the camera? Yes, we can move the camera around. God. This is so weird. Right. Long hair. Oh, right. Okay, um, spin it all around. Do the hokey pokey and you turn around, because that's what it's all about. See, I'm such a sucker for uh, ponytails. Hello. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for the ponytail. Anyway, the ponytail is ours. Features. Eyebrows. I'm going to be, might be here a few minutes, but I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. Um, what are these eyebrows? Actually, what are those eyebrows? Damn, they're good eyebrows. I need to get my eyebrows plucked at some point. Or wax, if ever. My avatars will look prettier than me at this rate. Eyelashes. Nah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the eyelashes like Ooh, scars, scars, scars. Um Holy crap! What the hell did you do to yourself? Do you know what? I'm not gonna have scars. I, I want her to look pre pretty. Face paint. Uh that must be a thing that comes later. Full body tattoo. No. Alright. There's no tattoos. Unless you unbox these later. Let's do the voice. For hearth and home. Okay. 
Okay, that's just a weird voice. For hearth and home. Too chirpy. For hearth and home. Too man. <laughs> Sorry, manly. For hearth and home. Hmm. For hearth and home. For hearth and home. I've got to find that right voice. For hearth and home. For hearth and home. For hearth and home. It's getting higher. For hearth and home. It's getting weirder. For hearth and home. No, that didn't sound too bad. For hearth and home. 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 Actually. For hearth and home. Where was that number? Was that number ten? Right? For hearth and home. 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 I'll go with number one. I'm just lazy like that. Figure. Height. Well, I think I'm about five, nine, ten. So, wait, what's the tallest we can go to? Six foot four. Bloody hell. Do you know what? I will go for my height, which is five, ten. I think I'm five, ten. Wait. Oh, wow. You can go proper fat. Yeah, I want to be a skinny bitch. <laughs> um, I'm not going to mess with... Oh, 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 damn chest. Oh, damn chest. Wait, the chest doesn't even go that far, actually. Do you know what? I think I'll just leave the chest. Um, oh my god. Wait, stomach. Oh, let's have a look and see how far this can... Really? I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought you, you could get bigger than that. I don't know. Anyway, um, wait, hold on, did I? Yes, that's right. Attire. Oh, here we go. This is the fun part. So, I presume we're going to be wearing Kingsley stuff. I mean, yeah, I do love... I do really do like the Kingsley clothing in the uh, film. And for what you see. Yeah, put some bottoms on. Get some shoes. Get some gloves. Proper Kingsglaive. Accessories. Oh, I think these are like things that you find eventually. So, skin colour, I think is I think I like the skin colour that's fine lips um no I don't really want any lipstick um oh should I give her purple eyes I'm a sucker for eyes that are a different colour you know eyes that you can actually choose yourself like I don't know like so like, I've got green eyes, but I like to choose, you know, eye colours that are kind of out there, I guess. So, what should I choose? I'm so tempted just to go for like some leopard eyes or something. Do you know what? I think I will just go for purple. There we go. Yes, we've got purple eyes. Hair. What colour hair should we go for? I'm thinking red. I think I'm red anyway. Proper red. Just trying to find the right shade of red here. Do you know what? I think I may just go brown. Just like my colour. Yeah. Brown hair, purple eyes. Purple's like my second favourite colour anyway, so... Tips. What are tips? I don't know what tips are. Sorry. Eyebrows? Yeah, they're fine. Highlights? Hi- Ooh! Ooh highlights! You like, but me, me not gonna go for that. Um, top? Ooh, we can... Oh wow, we need different colours and stuff? Sweet. Um, I don't know if I want to go for different colours though. I think I may just stick with, yeah. I think I may actually just stick with what I've got. Although, the colour of my gloves. Should I go for a different colour? Nah. I'm really not bothered actually, to be honest. I just want to get on with the game. Facial structure. Yes. Nose. This is all stuff I really, really, really don't bother to deal with in the game. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, save this avatar. What am I gonna call myself? I'm gonna call myself Amelia. 
let's see if I can do that. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. I've got Amelia. It's awesome. I think I thought because the game's just come out today, I thought I wouldn't actually be able to take the name Amelia, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So, I am now No clue? Unless... Don't sweat it. But you escaped with something more precious than your memories. Your life. Oh, hello. First of all, you're a glaive. Just like me. Anyway, the king lends us his power. This. We fight to protect him. Well, fought. The king himself's long gone. His power remains, though. So we gotta put it to good use. See that up ahead? That's the last bastion of mankind. And it's the king's glaive's job to keep her safe from harm. <laughs> Better enjoy the sunshine while it lasts. It'll be gone before you know it. Only other light left in this world is the kind we make ourselves. And as you may or may not remember, we play a big role in that process. I, I, I'm, I'm like how I'm like... Let's hope that jogged your memory. <laughs> All of the Starlands counting on us, Glaze. I'm just like, I want to look into the Demons distance. Ahead. Get ready! Uh-oh. Great. Another bump in the road. Oh dear. You and me will smooth it out. Let's move! I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Blaze function somewhat differently than Noctis and his pals, but their fundamental controls remain the same. Uh, regenerating health. Hold L2 and press... Ah, okay. L2 triangle to press security spell. Um, an AI combat is shown. Okay, casting spells. Okay, an offensive spell is disabled. So, right? Rejecting barriers. Ooh. Square to get barrier. Okay. The bomb chain works. Yeah, I remember that. Right. Here we go. Um, I guess I got a sword. Um, this is gonna be fun. Oh yes! Let's do it! Come on! Yes! Ah, come on! Let's be having you. Ooh, let's try different weapons. Ooh, daggers! So, what is this? Bile Elia? So? has joined the battle. Right, let's try. Alright, that's nice. Okay, um, can I heal myself? Nope, let's uh ooh, quite well. Alright. Oh! Oh, this is so fun so far. Wait, I was trying to fence it. Wait. I just kill myself as well. That's good. Right, okay. Let's keep going. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. That looks good enough to eat. Oh. Pick up. Pick it up. Okay. I got some meat. Oh, this is the Stalin. I just realized where we were. Anyway. We have it's up the ingredients. I've got proper head. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm liking it so far. Right. Yeah! Oh! Oh. Damn! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I'm in stasis. This is not good, not good, not good, not good. Right, let's go join the others and take down this mother trucker. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Watch yourself. No telling what else is waiting in the road ahead. Well, I like it. I know I keep saying this, but it's, it's good. It's really good so far. Right. We have reached the slalom. What the hell? What happened? Last! Whoa! Oh, damn! This is so help! I am not very good at this. Those things are in the world. We can 
Right, where to next? Thanks, Libertus! He says, keep it up! Thank you! Right. I feel like I'm here with a boss fight coming on oh. now. It looks like the demons are going to be a little wild life a little crazy. We're almost there. Take him down from town to town. Ready? Until more of them show up. Look at this, what are you doing? You're drunk. Go on. Happens. Okay. Uh, we'll do. It. Oh, is this a really smart call? I'm glad you made it inside. That I used to uh, get into. Complete. Warriors of Light. Where's my XP? Give me my XP. Anyway, the salon will henceforth serve as your base of operations. Rendezvous with online comrades outside the outpost. Hmm. Okay. Sweet. Nerd, nerd the game, nerd the game. Loading times haven't actually been too bad on this game so far. Sometimes, though, on the main game, they can be very, very frustrating. You are a capable combatant. Oh, thank you. Everyone here in Lestalem is counting on you to keep them safe. Um, okay. Uh, descent into the dark darkness. Rescue the citizens. So, I uh, take it we follow core, I guess? I've seen a lot of cr- Um, sorry, dude, I wasn't, like, paying attention. Etc. Etc. Yeah, I am on the server Lucis anyway. So there goes Core, and I take it. Looking at the uh, map. Hold on. How do we? How do we look at the map? Oh, is it no. Oh, I was gonna say it's no thingy, is it? Gear items info. Yeah, you got characters. Yeah, what happened to Nix? Did he actually die? I can't remember. Oh yeah. Channel's power at the cost of his life, of course he died. Oh yeah, Luna's dead in this. Cause still alive. Regis is obviously dead. Documents. How about stuff? Updates. Whoa! No 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 no. No no. Items check. Okay, yeah. 
Chat? Nah, I'm alright. How do we actually view the map? Though I'm really sure. Let's have a look at the controls. Can we even see the map? No, I don't think we can. However, yeah. Now the marshal wanders around like a pathetic patrolman. Don't get me started about the Prince's Royal Retainers. Bunch of bums, if you ask me. Well, they seem to be doing more than you guys. So I'm actually going to end this right here because that was a pretty good intro, I have to admit. So you actually can get this game if you have the season pass, which I did. I still do. And I think it's only £15.99 and I think I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time on this. Maybe not as this character, maybe as another character. But yeah, I'm going to really enjoy this. is probably going to be the character I'm going to use when I'm not streaming. I just want to do a little video. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. I am going to try and get some videos up pretty soon. I know in two weeks, in this time in two weeks, I will be in Canada, I'll be in Toronto, and be going to CooperCon, uh, Pontario as well, so that's going to be interesting, so I've got lots and lots of vlogs coming up, so I'm going to leave you now, and this has been fun, so thank you very much for watching, and adios, take care guys.